Hi, so it's my birthday. Well, technically I'm recording this the day before my birthday, but this will probably be posted tomorrow. <coughs> Yay. And sometimes I think it's really important to just draw things that are a little bit self-indulgent, so I actually found this sketch from last year. So I think I remember I drew this around my birthday last year and it just never ended up getting finished. It ended up getting a little bit forgotten about. But these are my two characters, my two original characters. Well, I should say two of my original characters because I have far too many, as I'm sure is quite relatable for uh, a lot of artists out there. But um, these are two of my original characters who I love very much and I really, really love to draw them. Um, they make me so happy, I just find their shapes are so fun and their colours are so fun, so... When I found this sketch, which was birthday themed, I think I drew it around my birthday last year, I knew immediately I wanted to finish it this year for my birthday. I thought that that would be a cute thing to do and a cute little video to make uh, in celebration, I guess, so... So parts of the sketch itself were actually left unfinished. So first things first, I just went in and kind of went over the sketch and fixed up a couple of little things that I wanted to change. This character on the left actually still doesn't have a name, really. <laughs> I've called him a few different things uh, over time, but none of them have really stuck. So he still doesn't have a name, but he's incredibly fun to draw. I love to draw him because he's just got so many fun, like, shapes. And this character on the right is... Uh, a character that is just named Starcatcher because I made her many many years ago. I've drawn her a lot of times since then um, And again, she's just so much fun and the color scheme for her is really fun. The line art was a little bit tricky actually because I knew I wanted to go in and do colorful lines rather than just doing it all in black But it got a little bit confusing in places, but I managed I think I managed it. Okay It looks okay in the end result the other thing that I really struggled with is I'm actually really bad at drawing hair. I know I do it all the time, but I just am awful at it sometimes, especially when the hair is like long and flowy. And uh, my character here on the right hand side has really long flowy hair. So um, that was something that I had to definitely include. Uh, I also didn't want it to mess up the composition too much because there's just quite a lot going on, there's a lot of lines, especially because the balloons have like strings which they are holding, so the strings are kind of flowing all over the place, which I love, I just love doing those like long flowy lines that are like curled all around, I think it just makes it look really dynamic and cool, but I didn't want her hair to mess up the composition too much and kind of get in the way, especially when I was doing the line art, it got a little bit confusing. All of the lines were like intersecting with each other. So I was getting a little bit confused, but luckily I pushed through. I did kind of keep her hair behind her as best as possible, just so that um, it was a little bit more contained and a little bit less confusing. I often draw her with her hair flowing like outwards. She's very kind of like floaty and space themed normally. So um, I just toned it down just a little bit for this one, just so that it didn't get too crazy. <laughs> I'm really glad I found this old drawing from last year. I think that these two characters are perfect for a birthday themed uh, drawing because they're just the perfect color scheme for it. There's just a lot of blue and pink and purple. And I think that those colors work perfectly for the theme, but also they're just like my favorite colors. So this was a lot of fun. Um, my character on the right hand side has had a few outfit changes uh, over the years since I've been drawing her. Her original outfit was awful, so I updated it a little while ago, but I still wasn't 100% decided on the colors. So for this illustration, I did kind of make up the colors as I went along. Um, I like the colors of the skirt, but I feel like maybe adding the blue on the jacket was a mistake and definitely the pink for her top. I thought it would look good with a little bit of pink thrown in but because her skin is pink um, it ended up blending in too much. Uh, I did add another pink on top like a darker pink to darken it up and just make sure that you could see the difference between what's supposed to be clothing and what's supposed to be her skin tone. Um, and I think that it is clear. I think it's a different enough colour that you can tell what's going on and because of the line art and stuff but um, I think next time I draw her, I'm going to change the colour scheme of her outfit just a little bit to something a bit different because I'm not 100% happy with it, but I think for the purposes of this drawing, it still looks cute. Um, I love the addition of the yellow. She didn't have any yellow in her outfit when I originally drew her um, a few years ago. 
it was more like blue and green originally and then I made it blue and purple but I think the addition of that yellow is perfect. I mean, she's supposed to be kind of star themed. She has all these little star motifs. And I think it looks good with the purple. They're contrasting colors and I think it looks really pretty. So uh, for the purposes of this drawing, it's fine. <laughs> and I like it. And uh, I love all the colorful little balloons. I love the yellow one, that's my favorite. Um, but I think they all look really good. I did all these little like confetti strings in the background and um, and then just went in with pencils and added all my little details like I like to do. I just like to add a little bit more shading with pencils. Um, I find that it just gives it a lot more dimension and it's kind of a soft shading, which I think looks really good with pastel colours, which are the colours that I tend to use anyway. Um, and then went in with a white pen and did all my little details like I normally do, just some highlights. Especially on the balloons, I think it kind of brings it to life then when they have that like white highlight on them. So yeah, I had a lot of fun drawing this. I actually really, really love it. There's stuff I would change if I were to look at it with a critical eye, but the entire point of this video is that it's supposed to be fun and uh, like maybe a little bit self-indulgent for my birthday. So I had a lot of fun drawing it. I love birthday themed things. <laughs> I think it's just really aesthetically pleasing. So I had a lot of fun with this. I really like it. I love drawing my characters. Um, I'm gonna have to draw them a lot more in the future because I just enjoy it so much. And maybe I'll make a video in the future where I formally introduce you to some of my characters because these two are the most appropriate, I think, for a birthday themed illustration because their colour schemes are just perfect for it. And I've said that a couple of times. Um, but I have a lot of other characters that I didn't draw um, that maybe I should introduce you to. But either way, that's it for now. I had a lot of fun and I'll see you again in the next video. Goodbye. Take care.